Hello everybody, it's -a me, a friendly porcupine, and today I'm going to tell you the top 5 worst Mega Constructs Call of Duty sets of all time. But before we begin, just because I have the best fans ever, I'm going to throw in a bonus 6th set. So it's not the top 5 worst sets, it's the top 6 worst sets. With that out of the way, let us begin! Starting off with number 6, it is the Recon Outpost set. Now, there is nothing in particular that's wrong with this set, it's just compared to all of the other Mega Construct Call of Duty sets, it is the weakest in comparison. Now, what did this set have going for it? Well, it had an excellent figure and it had a, eh, it, it, a decent structure. I get it, it's more of a blown up kind of thing, but structurally it's weak. Well, gee, a friendly porcupine, why do you expect when something is blown up for? <laughs> you expect it to stand up? <laughs> No, but seriously, um, in comparison, I get it, it's a blown up structure, it's a build, but compared to other Mega Construct structure builds, they were a lot more stable in comparison to this one. Now, with this said, they're using some of those older pirate molds, which isn't really anything wrong, except uh, that ladder. That ladder, and specifically, maybe they could have used a much more better ladder, simply because the old pirate ladder, with the modern Call of Duty figures, you can't grip it on top like this. You have to grip it from the sides. So, that is a bummer right there. Compared to the other Mega Constructs Modern Leather, yeah, you can actually grip it like this. So that is just one simple advantage. But then again, this is more of a nitpick, except one other thing. The uh, instructions. So if you're the type of person who doesn't care about instructions, you're going to love this feature because this set came with that little news thing and the map thing that you can cut out with scissors. Making the instructions really cool. However, if you are in an instruction collector, this is going to be a disappointing thing. Because now you're going to be choosing, oh no, I'm going to ruin my favorite instructions with scissors. No! So yeah, uh, I guess you choose which one you want. I think it would have been better if Mega Construct just included the, the, the map as a piece separately. So that way you don't have to cut it out. But I get why they did it to save costs, etc, etc, etc. Also, I really love the sandbags of this set. Like I said, it is not a bad set, just weakest compared to other sets. Moving on to set number 5, which is the Vulture Attack set. This set is also in the same boat as the previous set, in that it is not a bad set, it is just the weakest in comparison to all of the other sets. Particularly why this set is weak? Well, it doesn't come with an awesome micro-action posable figure. This is one of the reasons why people love Mega Constructs Call of Duty. Because it came with that awesome figure. So, for them not to include it, it kind of feels like you're being robbed. It's like, really? I don't get that awesome figure. Yeah, I get it. The figure is the dog, so maybe that's what they were thinking of. But it would have been way much more better and more valuable. And it probably would have sold way much more better if they included an awesome Alpine figure. Imagine what awesome Alpine trooper that we could have got. It would have been much more badass, way much more playable, because now this Alpine figure comes with a little dog. Like, just think about how cool that is. Everything about this set was excellent, the dog was excellent, the red barrel was excellent, the bricks were excellent, the base plate was excellent, the drone itself was excellent. It just had that missing potential that it really needed to have. I totally agree with you. Now my comrades, I must warn you, past this point is where the real shit starts. This is when the sets actually start to get a little bit shitty, rather than just being weak. It's all a dream. It's just a dream. Oh, that's right. It's all a dream. Moving on to number 4, which is the first shitty set. I'm gonna lump in two shitty sets into one for number 4, which is the Solo Mercenary Outpost sets. Now with this set, what's the big shitty move that they did here? Well, you have the red container and you have the silver container. The previous one came with two figures, two fucking figures, and now they had to remove another figure. Very big brain move there, but on top of that, it's not like they change anything drastically or seriously, you're basically purchasing the same exact set, now with just a figure gone. That's a big fucking brand move there. <laughs> damn guys, damn. Suka. Вот сука, хитрожопая. The big jopa here is when they remove the figure, they didn't give you anything to compensate for it. Did they give you a care package or something cool like that? No. Did they even bother giving you a different figure? No. Did they even bother changing the color much? No. It's basically the same set with one figure missing. Come on. You guys shouldn't have been at least lazy. You guys could have made a new, better figure for it. 
Well, to be fair, at least they did change something. On the red container, they just changed the print, and on the silver container, it is just a slightly darker silver color. That's it, it's basically the same set. So, yeah, at least it has that going for it. But they could have made it so much better. I mean, they gave us a purple container. Or what about the new container sets that we were supposed to get? Uh, if Mega Constructs stopped production, are we never going to get these awesome container sets? No! I guess not. But yeah, this is what they should have done instead. See? It's different in comparison to this one. Way much more drastically different. Moving on to shitty set number three. It is the Covert of Unit and the Icarus Astronauts Unit. There is nothing wrong with the five figure version. There is wrong with the four figure version of both of these sets. That's the big jopa right there. Why? I don't know. It was it really was a big dropper move. Why did you have to remove the awesome juggernaut figure you included with the cover up unit? Damn it! That's like the perfect awesome riot gear figure that we could have got. It's also one of the reasons I bought knockoffs. So yeah, good fucking job, Mega Constructs, because knockoffs actually delivered what you removed. Damn! Come on, guys. Yeah, and with the astronaut troopers, remember that awesome astronaut that they removed? The one that came with an Arctic AK? You stupid fucks! <laughs> Damn it, you should have removed that! Yeah, but uh, that's the way, that was one of the bullshit that the uh, Mega Constructs had. Of course, they were going by Mega Bloks back in the day, but I'm not throwing it out of the water. It was because Mattel already bought them still. Other than that little fuck up, the sets were pretty good, except they shoulda gave you a care package. Anyways, moving on to set number two, it is the Zombies Hazmat set. Now, I'm not mad about this set with the unarticulated zombies, even though I wish they were articulated, they probably would have sold way much more better if they were articulated, but the big dropper here is, look at this shit they did. So, you have six figures here, and it's not like, hey, we just remove one figure. Nah! They had to remove two, bro! Like, damn! And it's not like they changed the colors up. If you've seen the Benta Hazmat figures, they were actually orange. Yeah! They didn't bother doing that shit! It's the same fucking set, just with two figures gone. Now explain to me, Mega Constructs, why I would want to have a two less figure version when I could just buy the old one that came with six. Oh, that's right, I can't because scalpers go bonkers. <laughs> yeah. This is like, it's a great idea to re-release the set, but when you take shit away, that is just one stupid fuck up move. Damn it. And it also could have been the awesome opportunity for you to give us the orange hazmat zombies. Just think about how cool that would have been. Way much more better. Plus, if you took away two figures, it wouldn't have been so bad. Yeah, with this shit-tastic move, even someone as calm as Jane Bricks called your asses out on that one. But Jang, haven't you already reviewed this set? I reviewed this set when it first came out, but it was different. It was exactly what you see here, plus this guy and this guy. It used to have six figures in the set. Suggested retail price for this version, $1 US higher than when it had two more figures in it. All the company cares about anymore is money and not its fans. Well, Yikes! <laughs> and for Jane Bricks to call someone's ass out on that, well, it's, gotta, it's gotta be a pretty shitty move. <laughs> and I never want to see it in our home again. And last but certainly worst, <laughs> yeah, this is the worst Mega Castras Call of Duty set. Number one, it is the drone attack set. No, this drone attack set, there's nothing wrong with this drone attack set. It's this drone attack set right here. That's the one that has a problem. Why? Why would you guys call it the same name? This is some confusing shit. Number two. You take away the terrain that the previous one had. I mean, look at the older one. Look how much better of a set that is. Then look at this one right here. You take away the terrain. You guys are stupid fucks. But here's the thing that really threw in the kicker. The big fuck up. Okay. In the previous version, Mega Constructs was teaching us. If you've seen this video right here, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. I ripped Mega Constructs' ass in that one because they deserved it. But 
with this set, they had the stupid audacity. Remember those tires, right? With this set right here, they sent in two pairs of tires. One pair was the more better, higher quality pair, and the other pair was the pair that was more shittier, that was their older type of pair. Mega Constructs was teaching us, with their threads, they were teaching us, we value you customer. We want you to throw away the old shittier pair, shittier uh, sets of threads. You don't need them no more. It was like that awesome move. Yeah. I was like, that is awesome Mega Constructs. Good job that you're improving your quality of your threads. And then, Mega Constructs had the bright fucking idea to give you the shitty threads in the next set that they told you to throw away. The fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, that is some really stupid move. That is like backfiring, stepping back. Like, that what was the point of teaching us that we were gonna throw away the shittier threads? Like, why would you send us the shittier threads? This set is the definition of if it's not broken, don't fucking fix it. Can you grasp that simple concept? Damn! God! Yeah, this is the worst Mega Constructs Call of Duty set, and it's one for that particular reason. Oh, another thing with this set, the computer on the previous version actually had a sticker with more colors, it looked way much more better. With the newer version, it was just a print. I mean, the print just looks way much more lamer compared to the sticker. So, yeah, and also another thing, another Zopa, the previous one, this one right here, had the prints on the side. Where did those prints go? Hasta luego! They're not there no more in the newer version. Like, damn. They had every fucking way to fuck it up. Damn. That is why it is the worst set. It's not that they're just being cheap removing figures. It's not that it's just weak. They actually gave you shit. Ah, oh, gosh. But hey, at least the figure wasn't half bad. Uh, except for the paint application. Ay, ay, ay. So. Oh, and they also had to remove the rope. Genius fucking move. <laughs> for more information, my comrades, do yourself a favor. Check this video out. Because in this video, I went absolutely bonkers with their ass. With their ass ripping. <laughs> yeah. Well, my comrades, this basically concludes the list of the top six worst Mega Constructs Call of Duty sets. Now, my comrades, I want to ask you. What do you think of this list? Do you think this list is justified? Would you move some sets around, maybe put in another set or remove a set? Let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, this concludes the top 5, top 6 worst Mega Constructs Call of Duty sets. I hope you've enjoyed this list. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one my comrades. Thank you for watching and take care.